Zero to one. That's that's the that's a topic I want to share, uh, and, and I want to uh, share my experience. It's yeah, it's uh, whatever I have learned from some books, and whatever I and most of the percentages I learned from my experience till today, from the day I started. So, just to be an example, when you add zero plus zero, uh, zero is a very important number. I know, and you all know, but when you add zero plus zero, uh, you always get zero. But you need, but when you add one plus one, you get two. And when you add two, the one to two, you get three. When you add three plus one, you get four. And, and any number, if you add one, you get something. So zero is non-existent. Zero is, there is, uh, I mean, it's non-existent. We can consider it as non-existent. So from non-existent to something existing, you have to go from zero to one. You have to create a one, and because you can't uh, keep adding zero to your zero. So even if uh, you are in the uh, you are in the one, if you add keep adding zero, then you get the same result. Yeah, you always get uh, uh, the zero. So what we should always try is, uh, especially in this entrepreneurship. Uh, we should always try to create one. You don't need to create 10, you don't need to create hundreds and thousands. It will automatically come if you create one. So from zero to one, you have to take a jump. And that jump is the most uh, uh, necessary jump uh, if you're dreaming or if you are uh, passionate about this entrepreneurship. So I always say, I mean, you have to create something from non-existent to uh, something uh, something existing. So once we go to one, then going from one to 10 to 100, and it will be easier. But from zero to one, that's the most difficult, the most challenging part. And uh, I hope uh, you will be motivated or you have you will learn something today, uh, how to go from zero to uh, one. So uh, committed. And that's the uh, most i uh, i believe that's the most important word uh, when you are going uh, when you are coming to this uh, entrepreneurship journey uh, there are many words or many definitions uh, and many terms uh, which you might have came across or which you will come across uh, but the commitment or how committed are you in this journey that's the uh, most important thing as far as I learned and as far as, as uh, I experienced. So uh, you must have a passion, passion of whatever you do, whatever, uh, whether it's in uh, theoretical, practical, or whether you are cooking, whether you are in technical side or whatever the field is, you should have some, some passion. So once you have passion and uh, passion alone uh, does not work in this uh, entrepreneurship journey because there are many challenges in every uh, every st step of uh, from coming from zero to one. There are many challenges, and the challenges uh, is not uh, able to you will not able to con uh, overcome this with just a passion. So you have to commit. Whether you are failing today, whether you are uh, down today, whether you are tired today, uh, you have to wake up tomorrow, and we have to grow again. You have to. Uh, wake up again and you have to do the same thing again and you have to aim for whatever the goal you have set so on those things uh, commitment is the is the most important thing uh, what i believe and having said that uh, it does not mean that uh, you should not have motivation as i i am showing here and one more inter uh, important thing is perseverance uh, because patience is good and uh, when you don't have perseverance, uh, because in business it's compulsory and it's hundred percent right that you are going to be uh, down someday and up some someday. So when you are down, uh, you you will always think like uh, I will quit today and this this I will quit today mindset. Uh, it will come every day or it 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 may come someday for you it's not the same for everyone but it will come someday or every day or any time of the day uh, for whoever is uh, in this entrepreneurship journey so when you 
think that uh, I will quit. I, 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 I can go further. I can't go further from here. The perseverance and the commitment, that's how, that's the most important thing that comes to work. And uh, you, you, you have to persevere and you have the power to say that uh, whether if, even if uh, uh, you want to quit in your mind, you have to wake up and you have to go forward the next morning. So it, I always say to whoever I talk with or whoever I spoke uh, with to anyone who want to uh, come in this journey that if you are not committed enough, if you are not motivated enough, uh, if you are not passionate enough about whatever you are going to do and about whatever you are doing, please don't come uh, and enter in this entrepreneurship journey because it's not always the limelight it's not always the glossy thing you see in social media and you see in newspaper and all so there are many challenges if you are committed if you are motivated to come across to overcome all those challenges all those problems then only if you're decided the 100 percent you will continue this just to this journey whatever is the condition then only you should uh, come in this uh, journey. So please remember again, um, please be committed, 100% committed uh, when you are uh, coming in this entrepreneurship journey. So let's assume that you have, you are passionate enough, you are uh, committed enough, and you are fully motivated to to start to start this entrepreneurship journey. So what you are going to do now? Uh, there are different different ways uh, you can you can go a journey and similarly there are different ways you can start an entrepreneurship journey so normally uh, in a, trad a traditional business model what we do is uh, number one if we want to start a business uh, we either think of money um, like we always speak like uh, how much money do you have or how much money do i have to start a business but that's the i will not say that's not the right way but i will i will suggest i, I will say that's not the most easiest way or the most right way so uh, a, 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 every way is in this journey is uh, right but where it will lead and which model you are going and which road you are going depends on the uh, starting so from my experience and from my uh, different learning from and different uh, coaches and mentors and uh, my journey uh, what we should start with is what problem you are solving it's not you might have a lot of idea i mean uh, you will produce this uh, you will produce all those stuff but uh, you should always start with what problem you are solving and the solution whichever you get of the problem it's it should be your product or it should be your uh, service. So you should always uh, think of the problem. Uh, I mean, uh, it, the greater the problem of if you uh, if the problem is greater and it impacts uh, the whole world. If you have a problem, you know, if you, if you have identified a problem, you know, uh, the whole world is facing and and you have a solution for that, then your business will be successful. And if, and the scale of your business and how successful or how big your business will become depends on the how bigger is the problem. If you have a small problem, if the problem is only for your locality, it will be your business of your locality. If the problem is of your state and the solution you are providing is will be only for your state and the business will only be uh, with your state. So, the problem, the bigger the problem, the the solution, the product, the service, it will turn into business and it will be big depending on how, uh, what problem you are solving. So always think of what problem I am solving today. Uh, with this product, what problem I am solving today? And the solution, uh, from that, you, you can start your business because it will be easier uh, if you know the problem, if you identify the problem. So. So you have identified a problem, uh, but now what to do? You have identified a problem and you uh, you know a, a solution or that may be a product or service. And 
um, what the next step. And I would suggest um, people might have, okay, I have this idea, I have this solution, I have this problem uh, that I'm solving for the people. Uh, now it's time to invest. But the problem, whatever you are assuming is your assumption and it's not the customer's problem or it's not the market's problem, it's not people's problem. It may be or it may not be. So who, who, will, who will say that the problem is uh, there? You, you will first, you will assume that there, there is a problem. You, you will find a solution and you, uh, you just can't invest or, uh, in the product because uh, in, in, in a startup world and in this auto, uh, startup, uh, we, we say the term as MVP. Uh, uh, Raja, can you go to next slide? So, so MVP stands for uh, minimum uh, viable product. So minimum viable product. So that's how we started in the in the left side and the right side. It's the same product. It, on the inside, it's the same product, and uh, there is nothing different inside. The only difference is outside. Why inside is not different? Because uh, I can produce the inside of this product with uh, one thousand dollar, one thousand rupees investment, and but when I produce the same product in uh, in this right hand side, I need at least two lakhs investment or more than two lakhs investment to 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 produce this. So first, we don't know for our solution. We don't know whether market or whether customer know it, whether customer will like it, whether customer will accept it. Because at the end of the day, customer and market is the most important thing in your business. So whether you have big machineries, whether you have fancy offices, whether you have lots of staffs, whether you have different updated technology and all, it does not matter at the end of the day. At the end of the day, what matter is the market. At the end of the day, what matter is whether the customer has accepted your product. So if you don't know whether, if before you not knowing that your product is accepted or not, uh, you you will invest simply invest two lakhs three lakhs just to uh, get one product, but if you're lucky, uh, your product might be accepted by the market and yeah you you will grow. But if you are not lucky, uh, your product would be not accepted by the product or the the, the customer or market. Then you have simply lost uh, three four lakhs and at the start of the journey. Uh, if you're losing three to four lakhs, it's not a, a small amount of money. And that's when your parents, whoever is blocking you in your entrepreneurship journey, your parents, your relationship, they will always say, don't do this, don't go into do uh, a job or something like that. They will always come in and they always, always suggest such, such kind of thing. Above that, if you lose one lakh, two, uh, two lakh, three lakhs, simply without knowing the uh, product and the market, then they will obviously say uh, quit quit this journey. So, in addition to that, in um, we always have a startup rule. In this rule, we we call it uh, lean startup. So we you should always try uh, with a minimal minimal investment uh, to to validate your product in the market. So just just see if you see the left product without. Uh, not, uh, say sim without with simple packing, uh, how much how much it, you will take to invest? I will take uh, around one thousand maximum to buy the bujia making machine and floor and some raw materials and these stickers and normal transparent plastic you can get for hundred rupees two hundred rupees. So if you if your customer accept this product, there is there is no way that they, they will reject the right product uh, the product in your right hand. So you I, I hope you are understanding what I, I am trying to say minimum viable product the a product or a service which you can start with minimal investment or minimal uh, uh, investment or minimal infrastructure whatever it's uh, uh, it's the cost you 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 should start you, if if you have if your product is not uh, in uh, validated by the market you always start with whatever minimum. if you can start with zero rupees like uh, for example, in service industry, you can even start with zero rupees with no cost, uh, no investment. So 
you should always start with that. You should not feel like uh, uh, I, 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 I am not putting any money into this and uh, and you should not feel all those fancy words and all those uh, terms uh, when you are starting. You should always start with minimum whatever you have in your pocket and we, you should not all try to lend money from your parents or your family or relatives or friends. So whatever you have in the pocket, you just try with and I hope oh, most of the product in this world uh, can be started with minimal investment and with like this. So as I told, I started this product uh, in Shanghai Festival and people accepted it. And uh, if they are accepted in this condition, uh, then I, I obviously know that they will uh, accept in this uh, uh, product in, on your right hand side, uh, full packaging. Suppose if they do not accept but I have invested in uh, two lakhs, three lakhs for to produce this product in the, on your right hand side. Then, if the market did not buy, then I will obviously lose uh, three lakhs just like that. But if you tested it first in the market, uh, then uh, you can save or you can invest without fear that uh, without with confidence that uh, yeah I am going to sell in all over the market. So that's what we call in the startup world uh, minimum viable product start with small starts the minimum the lowest amount uh, which you can put into and start uh, validate in the market so validation uh, validation is verifying and validating whether your product is accepted so th it's the next step after you have a minimum viable product uh, whether uh, so you have to ver verify whether market is accepting or not so there are different uh, type of validation. So uh, you just carry some product and you just sold in the market, you just sell it in the market and directly to the customer or the retailer. And that's the case of uh, product validation. And in case of service validation, uh, there, are, there are a few examples. Uh, if you follow the tradi uh, traditional model, uh, what people normally do is if you want to, uh, want to start a laundry, uh, washing uh, business, you will buy big machineries. At least uh, it starts from 15,000, 20,000, and you will buy all those big machineries and you will set up uh, customer care. You will set up uh, your employee to wash all those things. And after that, you will go to market. Maybe if you are lucky, you can get, you will get lots of customer. If you, and if you are not lucky, you will not get any customer and you will lose the whole investment in the washing machines. So that's how you should validate in the market and that's how you should uh, work out a uh, minimum viable product. So that's just an example to make you understand the service and product side of how to, how to validate a, a product in the market. So what we, after validation, what we do is, as you can see in the screen below, two words, iteration and pivot. So iteration is, so you, after you go to the market and after you uh, talk to the customer, uh, you, uh, you validate the market, you validate your product or services, uh, there will be some results. Customer will say, I like it, or they will say, I don't like it. So according to that, if they say, I like it, yeah, that's, but if it's not be like one or two customer, if out of hundred customer, if 50 customer says, I like it, uh, I want to purchase, buy more. I want to get your service more. Then you can continue the, your business, and you have you 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 can start searching for investment. You can start start investing on this because you have proven that there is a market for your product. So then you can just continue the business. If not, if you need some changes, if customer uh, provided a feedback that uh, this is not good, this is bad, bad, just add something, uh, deduct something, or all, all those stuffs. If that happens, then you have to iterate. You have to make small changes in your product or service. That is called iteration. Again, after iteration, you have to again go to the customer, go to the market, and, and validate it again. Uh, same process. Again, after that, if the whole product or the whole service is not like or not accepted by the market or the customer, what you need to do is pivot. Pivot means change wholesale, change wholesale, whatever the product or service you are offering, because it's not accepted by the market. There may be different reasons of not accepting it. 
but um, they have not accepted because there may be because the product is good but uh, the price is not comparable or uh, the it's not the right time maybe it's too advanced or maybe it's too fast so it depends on lots of factors whether you uh, any product or service is accepted the mic by market so you have to pivot the only thing i want to say in this is the only thing that is making a business fail is not continuing the business there is nothing like a failed business if you keep on continuing keep on iterating keep on pivoting keep on changing your validation and you just uh, continue to, to your journey uh, till you are continuing to your journey and to, till you are doing your business there is nothing there is not a word called fail your product might have failed your service might have failed but your business and you uh, in this entrepreneurship journey you have not failed so just be keep in mind that you are never failed till you till the day you quit the day you quit the business the day you quit the entrepreneurship journey uh, without making a successful certain impact that's the day if you 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 can be considered fail but if you failed in a product or if if you failed in a service but if you uh, continue in this journey with different iteration different product different modeling then uh, no one can say that you have failed in in a particular business so that's how i want to uh, uh, let you know after validation continue i or iteration or pivot so you have to follow this uh, these three things uh, once you uh, started the once you completed the validation uh, stage